everybody, Cinda Sells here. You know, many people end up unhappy with their home buying and selling experiences. But at the Cinda Sells Real Estate Company, we have a proven step-by-step -step guide to get you the most money possible when selling your home and the best deal possible when buying a home. So today we're going to ask the question, what is an HOA? Now, it's funny, I've been around too long and I know what an HOA is, but a lot of people don't and they don't know what the function of an HOA is. An HOA is a homeowners association. So some neighborhoods have them and some neighborhoods do not. But if you're living in a townhome a neighborhood or a condominium neighborhood, you are going to have an HOA and many times that HOA provides, you pay a maintenance fee and it provides your exterior maintenance, your um, the uh, lawn maintenance, snow removal, it can take care of building maintenance, which is gonna be, if it has siding, uh, if there's problems or things happen, they deteriorate, the HOA pays for that. Roof, they will pay for that. Many of the HOAs in the condominium and townhome neighborhoods will pay for studs out, which means they're not gonna pay for anything in, on the inside of the house. It's not insured. So what that means is those, those homeowners associations have an insurance policy that basically you pay for every month, month that takes care of those things. Now, you can also have them in a single family residential area, like where I live. I live in Lakewood. And in Lakewood, it actually is a maintenance provided area. So we pay a monthly HOA fee that takes care of our lawn maintenance and our snow removal but it doesn't take care of our exterior maintenance of the home. So it, it, there can be all kinds of different scenarios. It also pays for all the neighborhood amenities, which is the pool, the, the maintenance of the lake, the, the trails, the pleasure docks, all kinds of things like that. So every HOA will have different uh, amenities connected with it that they will be uh, contracted to maintain. Now, the thing that you want to remember about an HOA, it's a good thing because it keeps things, uh, I don't want to use the word restrictive, but a little bit, it keeps things maintenance and there are rules that need to be followed. So if your HOA says that you can't plant a tree uh, in a certain part of your area, like uh, a lot of times you've got a sidewalk and then there's an area that's maintenance and taken care of by the HOA in front on the other side of the sidewalk that's next to the street. If, it, if your HOA says you can't plant a tree in there, you can't plant a tree in there unless you go before the board, the HOA board, and you ask for a variance or you ask for an exception, things like that. A lot of HOAs have paint colors restrictions. They have to be certain colors or roof types of roofs. Uh, back in the day, HOAs used to have only wood roofs. Well, today they don't do that very much at all because wood roofs aren't safe, but it might be a certain kind of composition roof or a tile roof or a metal roof, all those things. So they're all subject to the restrictions of the HOA. So if you're buying a home, you want to make sure that you know if it has an HOA, what your monthly dues are going to be and what those dues include with the HOA, what restrictions Look over those covenants and restrictions to make sure you understand what that all entails and what your HOA offers and does not. So if you have more questions about an HOA or anything regarding real estate, we can sure help you. You can schedule an appointment with, with us at 816-600-7355 or visit us at the website, cindacells.com. Thanks for having us come into your home today and have a great day.